Hey guys! So today we're moving on to the next additives in our Floetrol based acrylic pour testing. Um, I wanted to see what kind of cells we could get by adding things to Floetrol. Typically we like to add silicone oil into our pores to help produce cells. Floetrol on its own will produce some cells, but we like to give that, that extra oomph sometimes. So I wanted to find different hydrophobic items that would produce the same effect. Um, I was looking for oils, waxes, anything of, this, of that sort that would give us the cell action that we're looking for. Um, in the last few videos, we were testing things that are typically used for fly fishing. If you missed those, we covered one called Flyagra. We covered one called Watershed, which is a permanent waterproofing liquid. And then Gink and Zinc. We also did one with all of these combined. And if you missed those videos, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description below if you want to check it out. For our next set, we're doing another five videos. So we'll do all four of these additives plus one with a combination of all the all four together. Uh, these are my random hardware store finds. I went and started looking for different things that we could possibly use. Um, you know, I am testing these things. I do not know how they react long term in the paint. Um, these are strictly testing, so I can't speak to how they will react like in an archival quality. Um, silicone oil seems to work pretty well as long as you get it washed off before you put any coat on it. Um, I'm assuming these will be about the same, but I cannot take responsibility for any of those actually messing things up. So far, the dry results look excellent. I, and honestly, a lot of the ones that I've done with the fly fishing didn't need much wiping and cleaning. Um, I haven't tried to coat them yet, so I don't know how accurate that actually is. I just know that it wasn't, didn't have the shine on it like you'd have when you use silicone oils in Floetrol. If you've done one before with silicone, you'll know that sometimes when it dries, you've got that top layer of silicone oil that kind of just floats to the top out of the paint. And if you don't get that off completely, any resin or top coat of any sort that you put on is going to also push away. That's just what the oil does. So when you're using any kind of additive in your flow trawl, you need to make sure that when it's dry and cured, you wash it off really, really well. Typically, I will use a baby wipe and that will usually get most of it. Um, but for the ones that are really hard and really stuck on there, what I'll do is I'll pour a little bit of cornstarch over the painting and kind of rub it in. And then I'll take a paintbrush and brush it all off. And then again, with the baby wipe, I'll take over to make sure I get all the cornstarch and stuff. The cornstarch does a really good job of like soaking up the oil and everything. So it helps get it the rest of the way off. Um, anyways, so with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and test these anyways. I have today we are going to be testing out this Armor All. It's a tire shine. It's extreme tire shine. So that's the one we're going to be testing out today. From there, in the next few videos, we're going to move on to linseed oil. This mineral oil that's meant for cutting boards. It's just Howard cutting board oil. And then we also have some WD-40 to test out. So we're going to get those and then do them all combined to see what kind of results we get. Again, I'm splitting these into separate videos because putting them all, all together was just too long. I didn't want to bombard you guys with all the things at once. So, 
Today, we're getting started in with the tire shine and we're going to get that all set up. Um, I was really, really impressed with how many cells this produced. It kind of went nuts. Um, so if you're really into cell action, I would stick around for this one because it's kind of crazy how much it reacted to everything. A lot of pushing went on in this one. But I'll let you get to that. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. I've got several more additives coming for you after this. At least four more, but I need to make another trip to the store, so who knows what I'll find then. Anyways, I'll let you guys get on to the tire shine and check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you. 